Hello Virgo, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please remember to flip and switch the roles, guys. Could be talking about someone else in your energy. Also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your situation, okay, Virgo? So let's see, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors for Virgo. What do they need to hear today? What is going on for Virgo? Please and thank you. So we have Queen of Wands coming out. So you can be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you can have Aries, Leo, Sag, highly aspected in your chart somewhere. Okay, but this talks about somebody with a lot of energy, very um, brave, very sexy as well. Queen of Fire is somebody that's sexy. Okay, um, a leader. Some of you guys could be trying to do something creative right now, maybe a new creative endeavor or something like that that you're trying to embark on. Now would be a good time to do it because you, you have a lot of energy and... Um, you're having this creative spark. You feel you feel passionate. You feel like uh, you want to go for something. So go ahead and do it. Okay. But this could be... We're going to see how the Queen of Fire plays into the reading. What else for Virgo? Some of you guys are stepping into a leadership ship position. Okay. You're very excited about something or enthusiastic about something. Okay. Now we have the King of Earth. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's you. Bottom of the deck is poor health. Okay deception confusion hmm. so somebody's in poor health because what they wished for you is coming back on them uh, whatever they deceived you about here is coming back on them now they ask is confused as why why they're they're falling apart or whatever we're gonna see how how all this goes but we have the king of pentacles and the uh, queen of wands here so people people in your reading the, the king of pentacles could be you queen of wands could be somebody else um a masculine energy could be crushing on you here, uh, Virgo, or you could be the masculine Virgo that is crushing on a queen of wands, somebody that you find to be very sexy, very beautiful, very outgoing, um, very innovative as well. You could be wanting to bring an offer to this person or they want to bring an offer to you. But the king of pentacles is somebody that does like loyalty. They like, um, they're very stable, they're grounded. They're mature. They're good with their finances. They're a good businessman or woman. So you guys could be trying to figure out who you should go into business with. Or or maybe you could be meeting people that you're interested in, in bringing in on your business to help you out. But let's just see what's going on. Those could mean a lot of things. What is going on for Virgo spirit? Clarify this energy for Virgo. Who are these King of Wands people and this King of Pentacles? Who are these people? <laughs> Like, uh, what is going on here? Some of you guys are dealing with someone here that's not as grounded and stable as you are. This person probably gets around or they, wherever the passion lies, they go towards, they could be loyal to one thing one day and then disloyal to you and going towards somebody else the next type of thing is what I'm picking up to with that energy. Okay, so we have Six of Pentacles, so Six of Earth. This is um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So some of you guys are getting a new job here is what I just picked up. If you guys were having problem with employment, you're, you're getting a new job here. Um, some of you guys are helping someone out or somebody here needs your help, okay? But the Six of Pentacles is equal give and take. If give and take is reciprocity. It's um, things coming back into balance here within your finances. Some of you guys are giving a gift to somebody or somebody is bringing you a gift. Maybe spirit is bringing you some type of gift, bringing you somebody that can help you out with your finances. Okay, but this is, um, if you're looking for a job, I feel like you're going to get one. If you're looking for help, I feel like you're going to get it. If you're looking to balance the situation out with somebody and make something right, I feel like that's coming in. But let's see. What else for Virgo? So we have Seven of Wands, Page of Swords. So yeah, something has been delayed. There could be some delayed communication between you and someone else. Somebody else could also be spying on you. You could have blocked this person. Okay. But I feel like somebody wants to speak to you. I feel like they're more so fighting for you than anyone than anything. Because they want to they want they want equal give and take. For some of you, you're dealing with somebody here that wants you for your money or they want your help, but you're you're blocking them for whatever reason. You don't want to help them. So all they can do is sit back and watch you and stalk you here because you're not helping this person out anymore for whatever reason. You're holding back from something or you're resisting something. I feel like you're speaking your truth about something or you're standing up for yourself or you're speaking out about something here with the Page of Swords. 
There could be something here also that you're needing to be patient for or, or wait for or be patient with. Hmm. There could be some gossip and shit going on too is what I just heard as well. That you're blocking out. You're choosing not to hear it. You don't give a fuck about it. Like who cares about somebody gossiping? Dead ass. What else for Virgo? So we have the two of pentacles. So you're trying to make a decision here. You're weighing something out. You're balancing something out. Maybe balancing different things in your life. You're trying to adapt to certain changes that are happening. Your money could be fluctuating. It could be up and down at this time for some of you. For others of you, you're weighing your options. You're trying to figure out how to do something. There could be some travel that's involved. Maybe you're needing to travel to do this. But I feel like somebody wants to defend themselves or somebody has their guards up really, really like a lot. Hmm. So we have Knight of Swords. Yeah, something is coming in. Knight of Swords, that's a Knight of, uh, I mean, Knight of Aries, uh, Aries, I mean, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So this is somebody coming towards you. I feel like to communicate, somebody wants to be honest with you and balance something out with you. This is somebody that did a lot of introspection on themselves. This could be you. The Hermit, the Moon, the Dreamer, that's the Fool. So somebody is rushing in to speak to, to you, to communicate, to tell you some type of truth here. They're coming in quite impulsively or like they're in a rush. Yeah, King of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords. This, this could be somebody that just went through a divorce or they've been through a lot of betrayal or somebody backstabbed them or they backstabbed you or something. You're going to clarify further to see. But um, this is somebody that's determined to do something here, to speak their truth. Somebody that's going to be brave and come towards you to say something. But let's see. What else for Virgo? Three more. Okay, so we have the Five of Swords, Queen of Swords. <clears throat> so, so, okay. You're blocking out somebody, Virgo, that's mad. I feel like somebody is mad at you here that you left them or you got a divorce from them or you don't want to help them out with something. This could be an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini could be very significant. Or you could be dealing with the air sign that's going through this here. Yeah, Aquarius the, with the star at the bottom of the deck. So we have the three wands in reverse with the nine of swords in reverse. So yeah, like I said, a lot of gossiping, a lot of... Uh, hmm... I feel like somebody also is scared to come towards you here, Virgo. They're scared to come towards you. With the three of wands in reverse, they're lacking the confidence or they feel restricted in some type of way. Maybe it's because of their finances. They feel like they don't have enough to come towards you or something like that. I feel like somebody is overly stressed. Or somebody is just blocked from coming on this journey with you. They ask, you left them in the past. You want to leave them in the past and that's that. And they ask is experiencing a blockage here. With the three of wands in reverse. Somebody here can't let you go or can't let go of the past here or something. And somebody else is moving forward. They don't give a fuck about the past. They're moving along swiftly and that's just what it is. But for some of you, this is your actual person here that can't let go of something. They can't release something that they are kind of like worried about or they're nervous about or they're stressing about it. I feel like somebody is like having hallucinations, they're having bad dreams, they're having nightmares here. It's like somebody's in balance. But let's see, what's the six of pentacles for um Virgo? Okay, nine of pentacles, yeah. So for some of you, somebody does need your help. They see you as a nine of pentacles. You're self-sufficient, you're reliable, you're you're dependable here. This person, if they need you, you would always be there type of thing but i feel like you're single now you're abundant you made a decision to go towards your happiness you're focused on you yourself and you <laughs> like you just you 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 just don't have time to be helping people out that don't want to help you like it's, it's just like somebody here wants you to give to them but but when you need help they're never there type of thing and now you're leaving them in the past they're upset they're mad that you won't help them out anymore bitch help yourself 
Like, dude, dude, I like if you were a good person, you probably would be getting the help that you need. You get what I'm saying? Like, somebody here is mad because you don't want to be with them no more. Help them out financially. What's the Six of Pentacles? Or something like that. What's the Six of Pentacles right here? Ten of Swords with the Four of Swords in reverse. Definitely could be dealing with an air sign. Somebody stays stuck in their head or they're mental. Somebody's like mentally disturbed or they're not, they're not okay mentally, right? But... Yeah, five of swords. This is somebody here playing head games or mind games with you, trying to sabotage certain shit in your life or certain opportunities here. This is somebody that wants to fight you. They want conflict. Like, I, I don't know. For some of you, you have your guards up against someone. You're not playing with this person. But the four of swords in reverse definitely talks, in, talks about finding the mental strength to move forward somebody somebody's betrayal or them stabbing you in the back million and one times they thought that, that was going to keep you down or keep you stuck it's not bitch you're moving forward somebody has mental issues they do but with the four swords this is you finding the mental strength and the mental capacity to get up and, and fight for yourself again this is you rejoining the world coming out of hermit mode taking action in your life moving forward you're not i don't know what's right yeah eight of swords or two of pentacles didn't i say somebody here is tripping this person is is i don't know they really are two of pentacles with the eight of swords is somebody that's just not mentally that they're, they're they're not okay they're disturbed here mentally somebody is losing their mind let me see what's this four of swords in reverse you could be thinking about helping this person out because they there's something with poor health. There's something going on with somebody, but you don't know if you should or not. What's the four swords in reverse? The queen of pentacles. So you could be. Yeah, we have queen of pentacles with the king of earth, king of pentacles. So this could be your match here. Because so, something is over with you and a mentally disturbed person. Like something is over with that person. And now you're trying to go towards your match, your counterpart, somebody that's going to give to you equally. There's going to be an equal exchange in the relationship. Two people that are loyal to each other, devoted to each other. They, they both work very, very hard here. So I feel like you're trying to come out of this phase of dealing with whoever this is that you're dealing with. Or this could be your own mind, Virgo. You keep overthinking, like overthinking yourself into a mental prison. Okay, I, even though I don't feel like that's you. But with the Queen of Pentacles, it could be another Earth sign coming towards you here that wants to um, give to you. They want to give you a gift or they want to um, balance things out with you here. Something happened though. What's the Ten of Swords? Something got in the way of this or in the way of this business partnership. For some of you, it's a business partnership. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Yeah, you're moving on from whatever this is. This betrayal, whatever this is that was getting in the way, it, you're moving on from it. Yeah. There could be communication coming in about a betrayal or somebody that betrayed you could be coming in. I feel like, you know, keep moving. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. For some of you, this could be your mother, your baby mother or your baby daddy. Or this could be somebody in your family that you were stuck with for a while or loyal to for a very long time. They could be, you could be seen that they're mentally disturbed or they have some type of mental illness. Like they're not all there in the head. Okay. But I feel like you're moving on from whatever this betrayal is, just period. Some of y'all just focused on your finances, you're a giver, you're, I don't know why I said that, but you are a giver. You could be a giver. You're very nice, you're kind, you're generous, but when you are done and tired of being taken advantage of, that's it. You're, you're not giving to nobody anymore. You're staying firm on that decision. That's just what it is. And I feel like you're moving forward. You're moving on. Some of you guys could be traveling, could be moving away from whatever, because you know, sometimes you need to change the scenery. You need to move away from out of your hometown, move away from people and things that bring bad memories. You just want a new start. Okay, possibly for some of you. This is going to be a business taking uh, picking up speed here. But there is something happening pretty quickly. I feel like you're moving on from something really fast. Maybe faster than you thought that you would. <laughs> okay, like... Hmm. What's the Seven of Wands? You had a judgment. You made your decision. Yeah. It's probably bittersweet. You feel sad. You feel disappointed. But I feel like eventually you're going to heal from it, right? For some of you, this is somebody that's from your past that wants to come back here. I feel like you made a decision or they made a final decision here. They um have awakened or they're going through some type of spiritual awakening. For some of you, this is you. 
Okay, but I feel like somebody's in regret. They want your forgiveness. Whoever this is. Could be a Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. That wants your forgiveness here. They made a decision that they want to fight for this. So I feel like they're trying to gain courage to do this. To come toward, towards you. They know that they hurt you too. They really know that they hurt you. They could be trying to get you some type of gift here. To make up for lost time. Yeah. They could be. This could be you having to make a decision, but I feel like they, they're doing, there's somebody else in your energy that's doing this. They're trying to make a decision here. Somebody here could be getting bad karma for the games that they play. Somebody's under judgment. I feel like spirit is watching very closely at what somebody is doing and how they're going to do it here. Because I feel like every time they fuck up or try to sabotage it or, or try to play mind games, they're going to get karma for this. So they're under judgments. Somebody here is learning some type of karmic lesson here with the judgment. Yeah, they're sad about it. They're disappointed in themselves, I'm hearing. They're in regret really bad. So now they're going to try to win you back at all costs or something like that. What's the page of swords? This is somebody that probably has a problem with communicating. Yeah, the fool. Aquarius, Aries, energy. Yeah, and the page of cups. For some of you, this is somebody that you have children with. Or somebody's just a younger, like they're younger than you. They're a little bit more immature and inexperienced. But with the four, I feel like somebody's going to take a leap of faith and come towards you with an apology. This person wants to express how they feel to you, for one. They really want to, to express how they feel, but I feel like they're scared, they're shy. <laughs> they don't know how to do it or something like that. But they have they have feelings for you. This is somebody that's admiring you from afar. Their ass is watching you for real. And they want to tell you how they feel. This is an expression, this is an expression of emotions. And an apology. Yeah, somebody wants to work with you. Three of Pentacles, this person. This could be somebody at your job or somebody that you worked with in the past or somebody that you had a relationship with in the past that now wants to fix it because they did something fucked up. And now you have your guards up. You're not putting up with the same bullshit here. Just period. Yeah, the temperance. They want to balance something out. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Some of y'all could be getting new love. Okay, or this is just a renewal of a love here with the past person for some of you but yeah this is a new beginning coming somebody ready to kind of like put the work in or take that risk and just do it because i mean that's the only way they're going to find out the answers i feel like their health is being affected by this <laughs> their mental health is being affected they can't get it together and i feel like it's going to get worse if they don't do what they're supposed to do and fix it so what's this two of pentacles Or at least try to fix it. The tower in reverse. The two of pentacles with the tower in reverse. Yeah, this person. Wow, okay, queen of swords in reverse. So, hmm. So like I said about gossip, there is definitely gossip. The judgment is gossip too, especially when it's in reverse. But the queen of swords in reverse with the tower, right? This is this person here is definitely mentally disturbed. They're a very mean, bitter person. Whoever this queen of swords is, they're definitely spreading rumors or gossiping. They're like back and forth with their mental. They, they One minute they're okay, the next minute they're having outbursts. So something is really wrong with this person, I really truly feel like. Okay, they spread a lot of gossip. They spread a lot of rumors here. They um, they talk too goddamn much. Queen of Swords in Reverse is somebody that's very um mean. This is a mean spirit, a type of person. They're trying to avoid something. With the Tower in Reverse, they're trying to avoid the inevitable. And I feel like now it's coming down in the worst way. Yeah, the devil. This person is coming down in the worst way. They could be watching Tarot to try to see how they can sabotage an opportunity for you or something like that. Or they could be trying to give you something with strings attached is what I'm hearing for some of you. So really be careful. For some of you, this person is just, they're, they're the devil. They're toxic. They're they're into spell work and some more shit. They um, could have sacrificed children here. Or something could have been going on with children or something like that. This person is just messy. I don't know who the fuck this is. Because we have them upright here. Then we have them in reverse there. I feel like somebody is also trying to figure out how to come towards you before somebody else does with these lies. Somebody here could be trying to come towards you with lies and shit like that. About your person or about a situation. Or somebody broke you and your person apart with these lies. This gossiping or whatever the fuck this shit is. Yeah, what's this? So um, they could be in financial debt. This damn Queen of Swords in reverse with the Tower in reverse. That's debt. That's that's bankruptcy. The Tower in reverse. So they could be trying to avoid losing finances or losing their stability, losing a home, a car, money, 
anything that's of value to them, they could be losing. What's the tower in reverse? Yeah, the devil. <laughs> Capricorn energy. Yeah, that shit. Whatever this is that's going on with them, they ass is going through it. And okay. You you get back what you put out, so Yeah, something about them is just toxic. It could be a whole bunch of shit. I'm not even gonna try to figure out what's toxic about them. They just they're just messy, whoever the fuck that is. What's the Queen of Swords in reverse? They could be very codependent though. They could just indulge in a lot of low vibrational bullshit. Like for one, running their goddamn mouth about shit that they don't know shit about or whatever they think they knew about. Yeah, this person could be an attention seeker. They could just want your attention. They could be a fan of yours, actually. This could be somebody that, that has a lot of friends or a lot of people behind them about what they're doing, but something like that. They could be speaking down about you or speaking about you to, to your friends or people that look up to you or admire you. They could be spreading rumors about you here to make people see you as someone that you're not. That could be that could be what the devilment is here. That could be what the toxicity is. And every time they do this shit, they get bad karma. Something here in their life falls apart. <laughs> and that's what makes them feel like they need to amp it up. And it's just making it worse. Something here is going to be made public too. Or this queen of swords is going to get humiliated in public. But I feel like this is you triumphing over this person here. Somebody thinks something is a competition and it's not. I feel like you're just you're just a winner and they're a loser. <laughs> that's just how it's meant to be. That's what it is. So, okay. What's the Queen of Swords in reverse with the Six of Wands? They thought that they were going to be victorious in something and they failed at it. Yeah, King of Cups. So, yeah, this is somebody that's trying to change how someone views you. Whoever this King of Cups is, somebody's trying to... This person is, is lying to to spread... To to say certain things to this King of Cups to make them lose feelings for you. And that's... that's it's never going to be that. They're always going to have feelings for you. They're always going to love you. Like this is somebody that can't let your person go or can't let you go. They're too stuck in the past or they're trying to, they're trying to delay something or restrict this person from coming towards you in some type of way. Like. Could be dealing with a Libra. Yeah, the Queen of Cups. I just saw your match here. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. That's a match. Two people that emotionally are connected to each other. They have a strong emotional bond. That shit is never going anywhere. Somebody has unconditional love for you and that's what it is going to be. I don't know what's up with these fucking karmics trying to ruin stuff for other people instead of getting their raggedy ass like together. They're the ones that's sitting up here lame as fuck. It's not you or your damn person. It's them. So this person, this person could be spreading rumors about your masculine here. Oh, he has feelings for this bitch or, oh, she has feelings for this man or whatever the fuck. Like, I don't understand how that could be or why they, why they like this person because, oh, they dress a certain way or, oh, they look a certain way or, oh, this, oh, that. Like, bitch, go somewhere with that bullshit for real. This is, this shit is ridiculous to me. So what is this knight of, um, what's this knight of swords? <laughs> What's the Knight of Swords? Justice in reverse. Yeah, somebody getting bad karma. The Sun in reverse. Leo energy. Yeah, somebody is mad. Somebody is just mad. They're mad as fuck that this relationship is coming together and they're being left out in the goddamn cold with their mental conf their mental illnesses and whatever else they got. Yeah, the sun in reverse, justice in reverse. This person is getting bad karma. They keep doing something that's not working. This is somebody that doesn't learn their lessons here. Yeah, so somebody else is under judgment. I feel like it's your person, or this is you. Flip and switch it, but your person here is learning some type of karmic lesson. They're awakening while somebody else is not, okay? The sun in reverse is somebody that's very conceited. Somebody that's very egotistical when they shouldn't be. Somebody here just really needs to be put down a couple notches. They need to humble themselves. Somebody is not humble at all, and I don't know why they're not. I really don't. But yeah, definitely karma and definitely a lot of disappointment, a lot of unhappiness. This person is feeling a lot of unhappiness. They could be losing a child in court. Okay. Somebody could be getting full custody of their children is what I'm picking up to. But this is the type of person that will lie in court. They don't give a fuck. They're reckless with their life. They don't care. Somebody here needs to do the healing work and they don't want to. 
and they're running around hurting other people with their bullshit. But they're getting bad karma, though. So karma is here. This person is mad. They're pissed off. And I feel like you're moving on. You're moving away from whatever this shit is. This, this is somebody that doesn't want to take accountability for their actions. And this is why they're always going to be miserable. They're always going to be a miserable fuck. And that's exactly what this is. So, okay. What's the five of swords? The world, the nine of swords in reverse again. So, yeah, cycle is closing out and somebody is coming out of feeling miserable and staying stuck in their head and, and tripping. Okay, like I feel like somebody's not tripping anymore because there's a cycle here that's closing. So the pain is easing, the anxiety, the depression, whatever you were feeling mentally, that shit is easing, is easing up. And I feel like the five of swords is you standing up for yourself or this could just be somebody mad. Okay, somebody could be mad, but the cycle is closing out anyway. Yeah, and you're healing, you're doing the, the healing work. Just period. It could be dealing with an Aquarius. Yeah, you're, you're gaining rewards and recognition for closing out a cycle. That's just what it is. And somebody's just mad about it. What's the Nine of Swords in reverse? Yeah, Three of Swords. Yeah, so this Nine of Swords in reverse with the Three of Swords is somebody hallucinating like I was feeling to begin with because they're too stuck on the past. So they, they, can't, come, they can't come fuck this up anymore. They can't fuck this... this relationship up or they can't fuck this opportunity up whatever it is for you they can't fuck it up somebody is heartbroken they're mad and they're tripping five of wands three of swords the nine of swords in reverse this is somebody that's definitely talking a lot they're definitely hallucinating they're spreading rumors this is somebody that needs to be hospitalized they do because they, they do have a mental illness just period Yeah, they, they try to plant little seeds and try to get you to come into this trap or fall into this trap. It didn't work. And if it was working for a little while, they got a little enjoyment out of it and then poof. It's gone that quick. But yeah, somebody here is mad at the cycle is closing out. They're kind of like revengeful, whoever this is. Very spiteful. What's the Queen of Swords? Yeah, so somebody here. Yeah, Seven of Wands again. You guys will be seeing Seven, Seven. Yeah, the Three of Wands. Knight of Cups. So I feel like the real Queen of Swords is your person or this is you, Virgo. You're the Queen of Swords. You have your guards up against this person. This person here is in your energy. They want to speak to you. They want to apologize to you and come towards you. But whoever this Queen of Swords, this Queen of Swords in reverse could be saying, oh, well, this other person is lying. They're not who they say that they are. They're, they're lying about me or whatever the fuck. Because I feel like both of you guys are saying something. But one is the liar and one is the actual person that's doing the right thing here. I feel like that's you. Maybe you can have air in your chart here somewhere, but you, you speak the truth. You're you're very raw and blunt in your communication, and that's just what it is. You're a nice person. I feel like you're moving on. You're moving forward. Three of Wands, this could be this person here coming towards you. You guys could live at a distance, but this is somebody that wants growth, expansion. They want a renewal in the relationship is what I'm hearing. They want a new opportunity, and I feel like you have this person blocked. You do have this person blocked, but I feel like or maybe you blocked them energetically some type of way, but... They're trying to break these walls down. I feel like you're very guarded. You're very defensive against this person. Because they put you in a third party situation against somebody that's like fucking insane. Yeah, you're going to have to make a decision when this person tries to come back here. And I feel like you want nothing but the truth and honesty from this person. You made that very clear from Jump Street. Just period. What's this uh, Seven of Wands right here with this Queen of Swords? Yeah, the moon. Yeah, with the um, hangman right here. You could be dealing with the cancer or Pisces. So this is somebody, I feel like this person is deep in their feelings about you or you're deep in your feelings about this person, vice versa, flip it, switch it. But I feel like um, there's a lot of, how can I put it? There's a lot of emotions that are all over the place right now in both people and all three really, but especially this third party. But you too, because you don't know how to feel about this person anymore. I feel like you feel that they're very sneaky. They're deceptive. They're very, um, I feel like this is just this person being scared. They're trying to have the courage to stand up for themselves and not look like a weakling, a weak link or the weakest link. <laughs> this is this, this is this person like really scared. They have this, this anxiety or despair. They're scared to come towards you. So they're waiting to see maybe if you will reach out to them or whatever the fuck. And I feel like you're not, I feel like you said what you had to say and you let it be that you just let it go. What's the three of wands? Yeah, the chariot. Yeah, this is somebody coming towards your ass. The death card, yeah. Yeah, somebody is, is transforming. They're transitioning. 
definitely could live at a distance. You could be dealing with somebody that's foreign as well. Yeah, but this person wants a new beginning with you. There's somebody here that wants a new beginning. Or this is just you moving forward because you don't know what to think. It's like you're stuck in the dark here with the moon. This person keeps you in your emotions, your feelings. They keep your emotions running high. You don't know what to think, so you're moving forward. And now this person is trying to rush in before you move on for a new beginning with you. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. <clears throat> but the chariot is obstacles being removed. This is like having a sense of direction, knowing what you want. Okay, following your own lead and not being a follower. So yeah, I feel, I feel like somebody, as you're moving on, somebody is chasing right behind you. And they know that you have your guards up, just period. So what's the three of wands in reverse with the nine of swords in reverse? Guys, we've seen nine, 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 nine of cups, six of cups, seven of pentacles, and the high priestess. Yeah. So this person. Hit the second. So this person here, um, you could be dealing with definitely with a Pisces or a Cancer. This person here misses you. They're very nostalgic. This person finds you to be very sexually attractive too. You're very sensual. Okay, some of you guys could be tarot readers or you're spiritualists here. They're, they're really looking or in reevaluating things that happened with them. They're reevaluating the past. Okay, I feel like they're looking at how selfish they were, how greedy they were, how they let other people interfere in this goddamn connection with you and them. But this is somebody that's thinking about you. They really want to invest in you here. I feel like you've been very patient with this person. This is you waiting, Seven of Pentacles. You miss this person too. You really do. You guys could be telepathically communicating with them. But I feel like a wish is going to be granted. Nine of, nine of Cups is coming in. This is a wish being fulfilled. I feel like intuitively you know this. With this Pisces energy, with this high priestess, you know this. You're a high priestess. You know what's going on. You know every little thing that's going on in this goddamn connection with this person. And I feel like you've been very patient. Yeah. Something about someone's finances, too. Six of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> somebody is trying to get their finances together to come forward towards you. This could be another Virgo that you're dealing with, or somebody that has Virgo highly aspected in their chart somewhere. But definitely, I feel like a wish fulfillment is coming in, but somebody's just trying to get it together to, to come towards you the right way. Because they want to be able to offer offer you this. And I feel like they're being cut off from you. They're being restricted by spirit. This is spirit blocking this person's communication and their movement towards you until they get their shit together to come towards you the right way. Just period. It does look like it's coming in, though. It's just taking time. I feel like you invested a lot, and now you're just second-guessing things. You're looking at things. You're reviewing it to see if it's really worth it. If it's really worth you sticking around and... You know, giving this person any more of your time or patience. But I feel like you can't let this person go. With the three of wands in reverse, it's like not being able to let go of the past. You can't let this person go here. So I feel like you're, I feel like in a sense, you're letting them go for your own sanity. But you you still think about this person. You still want this, but you just have to surrender and let this person do what they're going to do. Okay. So what what's for, um going on for Virgo? angel answers for Virgo bottom of the deck is compromise yes yeah, so somebody here wants to balance things out with you they want to kind of like um work with you here they want you to work with them because I feel like you've been working with them stop don't start that so we have weights okay so spirit is telling you to just wait <laughs> what else um not put your life on hold but still have a space for this person to come back and say what they need to say yeah we have choose a new direction we're going to clarify these what these mean what else then we have improving health so if, whoever had the poor health here is, is their health is being improved yeah because i feel like somebody was either depressed or um really i don't know this person stayed in their head a lot your person i feel like that's your person but whatever somebody was trying to cause on your person or you is coming back on them tenfold, whoever the third party is. It's so definitely a third energy. But um oh shoot. So let's see, what what is this um compromise about spirit for Virgo? What's this compromise about? Okay, so we have very likely. At this time, the situation or outcome is likely to occur. So something here is going to work out. Yeah, you know, somebody here could be getting locked up. 
Somebody could have did something against the law here with the justice in reverse. Or they're breaking free from something here. Of somebody trying to control them or something like that. What's this compromise card with the very likely? So we have Sagittarius, microphone, news, trending, broadcast. I told you something could be going public about somebody. Somebody here could be on the news here. They could be going on the news for something that they did. They broke the law. They did something. But I feel like this is, uh, some of you guys could definitely be public speakers, like I was feeling. Somebody's going to express something to you or speak their truth. They want you to compromise with them. This could be over social media for some of you. You guys could be getting communication. But they're definitely going to make something known here. They're going to say something, whoever this is. What is this weight card for Virgo? What's the weight? So we have child. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. So that's fixed signs. So somebody here is definitely a, probably a damn Aquarius. Or it could be any fixed sign, but I've seen Aquarius a lot here. So, um, this person is probably doing some inner child healing. There could be something going on with children in this person's life or yours. Okay, I feel like this person is very stubborn. They're stubborn, okay. This person is also inexperienced, like I was feeling. So, spirit wants you to kind of, like, be patient still, I guess. Or you, this is just you saying that you've been waiting on this damn person. Then we have person of earth, the provider and caregiver, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So yeah, I feel like as a Virgo or as a, well, I don't know. Cause I'm a Taurus sun and moon and I have a Virgo rising. So I feel like you guys have been very patient. You have been very patient. Just working on yourself, focusing on your money. Okay. I feel like you understand that somebody needs to heal. They've been doing the work or something like that. But I feel like you're very grounded. You're secure. Or this person is coming in with an offer cause they can have earth in their chart too. They could be a Taurus is what I'm picking up or another Virgo or something like that. Or it could be a Capricorn, whatever. But this is somebody that's trying to get their shit together to come towards you with a stable offer. And I feel like it's a very trustworthy offer. You guys can have past lives with this person. Yeah, they... Yeah, then we have Taurus, energy, birdcage, possessive, codependent, clingy, re restless, oblivious, control. Yeah, so this person, they were being controlled by somebody else. They feel trapped or something like that. Spirit is telling you to wait, give it a second, or just have patience or something. It says without consent. Yeah, somebody is watching this person. Or this could be telling you to just wait until this other person get locked up. Wait until they ask, get gone, get ghost, and then you move forward. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because maybe this other person, whoever was in the way in the past, needs to go away completely before something could take off. Somebody here could be in a codependent relationship here or was in a codependent relationship that they're breaking free from. Are you okay? Get that, get that thing up. Get it up, get it, please. And go in the other room. Thank you. Sorry about that. <laughs> this little boy. Okay. What is choosing a new direction? So we have happening now. The situation or event in question is occurring right now. Okay. And then we have Aquarius energy with, with Labyrinth. Lost, delayed, complex, contemplate. It's complicated going inward spiritual quest long way home problem to solve so this person right now is trying to figure out how to solve an issue with you or how to get back to you here i feel like this person has two paths that they need to choose either they're going to sit back and lose you and let things fall apart or they're going to go in a new direction what what else for um choose a new direction okay virgo energy <laughs> so you Mother low, prosperity, jackpot, success, good fortune. So I feel like they're trying to map out how to get back to you here with this map, with this maze on this other card. They're trying to put the pieces together. They're trying to solve something here. 
And spirit is telling them to choose a new direction. Spirit is telling them to choose a direction that brings them happiness. That's going to bring them good wealth, good fortune. For some of you, this is about this person's money. They're trying to break free from codependency. This person could be codependent. And this other person could be codependent too. So they're trying to break free from that person to gain a new perspective on whatever they say that they're going through. In regards to their finances. They could be trying to figure out which way to go when it comes down to work. Because they're trying to come in towards you as this king of pentacles, stable, secure. They're trying to go where the money resides, where the wealth is. But I feel like they're going to figure it out. So what is this improving health? Or this is you. So we have Aquarius energy, black widow, betrayal, warning, twisted. See what I'm saying? Cunning, danger, entrapment. So somebody here could have been trying to poison you. They could have been could have been trying to really play on your mental health too, using spell work possibly. Yeah, they could have been silencing you using rituals here with the book burning, mind games. They were playing mind games with you by doing something, suffocating you, destroyed heritage. Yeah, somebody really, somebody somebody really um destroyed the the next generation like for their kids here this whoever their kids are whoever this karmic's kids are is going to have a lot of uh karma to, to to fucking fix because their damn parents is a goddamn slow whoever this damn person is that did this to somebody so somebody here is trying to really get themselves back together whoever did this shit here yeah we have gemini energy train moving on life's journey New endeavor, going away, one direction, on track, focus, on time. Keep going forward. Yeah, so somebody, this person, whoever this is that you're dealing with, Virgo, they've been trapped in some type of bullshit with a goddamn third party that was trying to possess them or be obsessive or keep them, bound to them in some type of way. It's like, I don't know if they asked to doing spell work or not. They probably were, but, whew, excuse me, um... Yeah, this this is some bullshit here. But anyway, somebody's helped and improving though. So that's good. And now I feel like somebody's trying to figure out how to fix something. Now that they're, they feel normal again, somebody's trying to figure out how to fix it. This situation, especially with you. But, um, and their money situation. So yeah, somebody else is in poor health here. Yeah, poor health deception. Like I said in the beginning, somebody that tried to cause that shit for you is, is 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 coming back on them tenfold. So you get what you put out, just period. So if you try to hurt somebody physically, y'all ass is going to be hurt physically. As bad as it sounds, that's the cold and honest and harsh truth. Like, if people stop doing this bullshit, they wouldn't have to worry about that. But anywho, this is your reading, Virgo. Sorry for the distractions. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on to all. Make sure you guys press the all button so you guys can receive any of my... Um, I mean, all of my uploads for when I post and you guys won't miss anything. And also, if you guys have trouble viewing the video when it when it first uploads, it's because it's taking a while to upload on the app. So go on the website, go on the YouTube.com website to watch the video. OK, so that was just a tip because I know a lot of people when I upload, they complain about not being able to see or hear the video It's because it's not fully uploaded on the app. It's slower than the actual website. I don't know why, but that's just what I've learned from studying this here when I, for when I upload. So. Um, yeah, so this was your reading and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.